Okay, I want to show you something else here. This is something else that we stopped in at JCPenney because that is a fiasco and a half. If I showed you these Levi's that Jimmy bought, he didn't buy them from JCPenney, bought them from a Levi outlet or something online, and he didn't realize they had holes in them. And I don't just mean like little rips with stuff. I mean gaping holes at the knees, like the ones he's throwing away, and he paid like I don't even know how much for them, didn't realize it, and now it's almost impossible to return them. So he thought he was going to be able to return them in JCPenney, which is the only reason we went in there, and that wasn't possible. But in, in the meantime, I saw this North, oops, hold on a minute. I love elves. I have the original knee, knee sitters from knee elves uh, from Japan from my mother. They were my favorite Christmas decoration when I was growing up. And hold on, let me focus this. And I just, I love them. I adore them. So anytime I see elves, I have elves like this that are from my own collection, maybe from the 1980s, early 90s, actually early 90s. And so I, I just love them. And that's why I even bought like extra elf on the shelf because I love them as decorations too. So they have these. She's really cute. She's weighted so she sits down. And they had 50% off plus $25. Every $25 you spent, you got $10 off. So these came to a little over $8 a piece with a regular price tag of $27. Hobby Lobby had some similar, not as nice, not as but theirs were a lot more expensive. So that was a really great deal over at JCPenney. And so I was getting one until I found out about that coupon that I pulled out on my phone. And I felt bad there were people in front of me. I was trying to give them the coupon. I would tell them about the coupon, but they had already checked out. Now here's the, another one, $27. This is the little boy, Elf. And he's got the wreath. So I really like these and sit down there next to your lady. Hold on a sec. So they were glad that they could come home as a couple instead of singles and have to mingle with the elves on the shelf. Really a cute couple. Thanks guys, I hope you have a great day and I hope you like the Bulldog ASMR. Have a great one, bye bye. Hi guys, I have a few things I wanted to share from that Walmart shop with me that I took home, that I bought, that I bought to take home that were worthy enough. Those are the six mini ornaments. I believe they were $1.99. Really cute. You can use them in crafts as well, like even like in those wooden house signs or for different purposes other than just the mini trees. Really cute. They had other ones. This was one I showed you in the shop with me. If you haven't seen that, it's linked in the video description. And this is the wooden toolbox with the trees there. Really super cute. It was the only one left. And it has a little... I'm really getting upset with my camera here. Hang on a second. Okay, it has that little hanger, really super cute. It's berries, little raffia, some greenery. This was $1.99, made of wood, really cute. Liked it a lot. You see it, get it, because that was the last one left that I saw. I also picked up a camper from Walmart. There we go little bit different it's done a little bit with more glitter got the wreath and you've got the tree that's flocked with snow this one doesn't have the, the wire uh, windows they've got metal you know like reflective windows Oops. there we go so I picked that up that was a dollar 
99 or 98. Very cute. And you can use them in your decor. It just as an ornament. And then I showed you these. These were $1.49. I said I'm going to put these under my mini tree because I couldn't uh, do that for $1.49. And it's all done for me perfectly. And then I got the one in the buffalo plaid there. Okay. The AMSR. This was what I was, I mean, they put this out since the last time I was there. This is the metal, whoops. There we go, the metal letters to Santa. Really nicely embellished. They had one similar in Hobby Lobby. It wasn't even embellished, and it was much more than $1.98. This is an incredible, incredible ornament for $1.98. You could even use this in a sign because it's got such a nice flat back that you can affix to a box sign or something if you were making that and put something about Santa on it. Um, again, I always come home and then I think, oh, I should have picked up more. I have other ideas, but this is so cute. Very good size, too. Very nice size. And it has a nice jute hanger. I like it a lot. And then I picked up this. This is similar to the red um, buffalo check I hauled the other day. This is the black and white, and I believe it's a like a wired kind of an edge. It's not, it's not even a wired edge. The whole thing holds its shape. I showed it in the other one. There we go. So it's like, I think it's the whole, the whole thing like the red. So I picked this up. That was under $2. And then I picked up, you saw me get, and if you haven't seen my Walmart, I will link it in the video description, but you saw me getting those fat quarters. I'm going to try to do some trees, a tree craft. Jimmy, I got him a scroll saw last year, so I'm gonna put him to work with that. We're gonna make some things, and then I'm gonna use the Cricut machine. So stay tuned for that. If you have any Cricut tips, let me know, but I did pick up these. Okay, and then I picked up for that pumpkin, and I, I said I'm toying with leaving it orange, but I picked up these colors. There we go. Cloudless. And then I picked up the Tuscan Teal, which I'm sure I have 27 bottles at home, but I always have a fear. Okay, guys, and I forgot to add these to... I, I did pick up this little one that's like my little sassafras, my little sassy. This was only a dollar and eighty-eight. Looks like a glass-blown ornament, but you don't have to worry about it falling and breaking because it's not glass. And I picked up those, and then of course, of course, the peace standing systems. I know a lot of you have got them too. The Merry Christmas, the tin sign. Very nice. So, thanks. So, much. ended up bringing home. I'd love to find out. Guys, thank you so very much. Let me know what you picked up, if you picked up anything, and let me know how that uh, turned out. I'd really like to hear it. I'd like to see a picture of you with your sign, if you got one, so we can put them in a Ramblers slideshow. That would be wonderful. So again, let me know. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great one, guys. Take care now. Bye-bye.